Here's our prediction. This year, we think you'll see more asymmetrical mantle displays for holiday home decor. That's adding visual weight to one side of the arrangement. And you'll want to know how designers do it. Well, we have the scoop on the chicken wire mantle hack that you'll use again and again. Susan Scampini is one designer who is leading the way with this look. Hi, Susan. Welcome to Studio 5. Hi, Brooke. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I am so excited to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you. You're so talented, and we hope you will teach us your ways. Tell, tell me what you did with your fall mantle. So with the fall mantle, I wanted to come up with something that was simple but had a strong impact. And I have an issue with my mantle, which is it's narrow. So how was I going to do that? I needed to expand my real estate on my mantle. And what I mean by that is instead of just using the top, I wanted to use the front face of that as well. Your solution was to reach for chicken wire. How did this help you out? Tremendously, I'll tell you. It really expands so many things for uh, designers and decorators. You can use it in so many different ways. Um, I went on and I found a narrow one that was about four inches wide. Mm -hmm about going ahead and measuring that. So this was going to solve all my solutions, and I can't wait to decorate for every single season with this. How did you attach it? So attaching it, so once I got the chicken wire, I cut it to about 26 inches. I attached it with some command strips. The command strips I used were the two inch with metal, like uh -huh, this, uh -huh. rather than the really small ones. And my tip First tip would be really wait. I'm a little bit impatient. I want to stick it up and I want to have it all done. Be patient and let that adhere really well. It's beautiful to see how it, it droops and kind of swags around your mantle. I realize you were trying to remedy, you know, the narrow real estate that you have, but I think anyone would love to extend that space in that really dramatic way. It looks beautiful. Absolutely, thank you, yes. And it, it opted me to be able to now use the top surface. I'm a more is more kind of girl. So putting things on the top, I wanna to add the candles, I wanna add the paintings, I wanna add that pheasant. And how could I do that? By doing the um, chicken wire across the front of it. Did it damage, uh, uh, Susan, did it damage your painted surface? It did not damage my surface. If you are concerned about that, you could always wrap your mantle with some cellophane. That's one tip. The other tip that I have are these clear bumpers. Um, this I use, if you can see that, this I use on all sorts of things that I place on the mantle. Um, mm. And it helps protect things. But the cellophane, you could put behind your greenery and you wouldn't even see that. I want your best tips for how you styled within that chicken wire surface, using the florals to kind of create that effect. You say the first step is to shop your house. Yes, definitely. We have an abundance of hydrangeas at our house. I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorites. They have, um, when they switched uh, in the fall, they switched to this gorgeous ivory burgundy, some pinks on that. And what I did is I gathered those. I had dried those. I have about eight or nine inches. And then I could show you real quickly right here. I just weaved them in mm. so that they actually stay right in there. You could use floral wire if you wanted to. Um, that could be maybe for heavier items. But what you do is you just kind of build that. And it's super simple. As you can see, I'm doing it just standing right here. And I'm noticing and then, you're leaving the stems longer. Yes, I left the stems about eight to nine inches long, and that way I could weave them in there. It looks great, it looks great. And finally, you tie those in with wire if you want that extra reinforcement, right? Yeah, yes, especially for a heavier item, I would add the wire. Oh my goodness, what a good hack, we're calling it that, but what a great solution as well. What's next for Christmas? So for Christmas, I, I don't wanna give everything away, all at once, but I have this fantastic idea. Think of lush greens. I think of, um, I'm going to be adding an instrument and I'm not gonna say what type of instrument, but it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be my heartfelt, which is one of my favorite instruments. And I'm going to be attaching that to the mantle. Oh my goodness. Well, I love that you had that decorator's challenge of the narrow mantle and you solved the problem for all of us with your creative solution. Thank you so much. How can we find and follow you online? You can find me at henandhorsedesign.com. All my socials are Hen and Horse Design, Instagram, all of them. Pinterest, they're all um, the same name. All right, we'll meet you there, Susan. Thanks so much for the inspiration. Thank you so much. This was so fun. I appreciate it. Fun to have you.